Hey everybody, Kplum Games here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we made our way through Tadpole Pond and Rose Way, and we are now on our way to Rose Town, which we will be exploring in this episode. Let's just jump right in, shall we? Oh! Th that's kind of foreboding. See, arrows come flying out from the forest, and when you're hit, you can't move. See, look, I can't move a muscle. Now I know how a scarecrow feels. Oh, God, yeah, when you get hit by those arrows, it seems you're stuck in place. Um, I believe that Mario can actually get hit by these arrows, and he'll get stuck in place, too. So, um, watch for falling arrows if you don't want to get impaled for the head. Since the day a shooting star fell into the forest, arrows have been showering our town. Oh! Ma'am, you seem to have gotten impaled. Gosh, that's dark. There's a stairway that leads to my house, but my son's been playing with the controls again. Mario, only you could jump up there. Please help me get back up to my house. All right, I'm up here. Anything to do? Any items to get? No? Okay. Oh, there's items there. <laughs> Let's just, um... Let's just take those. I, I, no one will worry if they're missing, I don't think. Let's talk to you. What's taking daddy so long? Do you think he's still looking for the treasure? Uh, something tells me probably not, kid. Uh, oh! I didn't even know that one was there. Hidden frog coin. Nice. Cool. Um, let's head out now. Thanks a million, Mario. Say, were my treasures okay? I wouldn't say so. You're kidding! What? They're gone, Mario! You're the only one who can reach them! Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> we'll fess up to it. Oh well, since we didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Enter the forest. When you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right in that order. You'll surely find something nice, <laughs> he says in all caps. Cool. We'll be sure to remember that. Left, left, straight, right. Okay, and he just says it again for us. Cool. Hmm, seems we might be going to the forest sometime soon. Don't know what that's about. I'm sure we'll find out shortly. Oh, this is not good. Now I can't go to the forest to chop up any wood. What's in here? Oh, just girl staying here. My husband still hasn't come back. I wonder what's keeping him. Um, I don't know what's keeping him actually. I want to go someplace fun. Standing around here is so boring. Haha. <laughs> All right. Um, I remember this one actually. You can come down this chimney, and we have secret flower. Yay! Oh, another secret frog coin. There's actually a lot of secrets in Roseway. Or Rose Town, rather. Mario, good to have a customer at last. What do you need? Oh, uh, we have mushrooms, honey syrups, pick me ups, enable juices. We don't really need any of this stuff at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't see any need for that stuff yet. Hello, Mario. It's so nice of you to drop by the shop. What can I do for you? Uh, let's get some thick shirt and some thick pants. And we don't really need any of this other stuff. It's really expensive, some of the equipment here. But, um, it's not really worth it, honestly. And I'm assuming that the fixed stuff is better than our normal shirts. Yeah, we get a little bit extra defense. Nice. Alright. And, yeah, the rest of our stuff is pretty optimal. Um, I should say that in between episodes, I did practice the uh, super jumps like a lot a lot I've been practicing them and I'm pretty sure I got to the 100 super jumps off screen so um I'm not entirely certain that I got it we'll have to check once we get to that point way way later in the game but um I think I got the 100 super jumps so when we get to a point very much later on we will have a special something it took me about five hours to get the 100 jump attempt I tell you, it's scary out there, but someone got to pump the water! Um, so to elaborate on the super jumps, I actually did my research on this when I was trying to master it. To do the super jumps correctly, 
Um, you only have a three frame input window for when you can press the jump button. Um, and you have to do that about 80 times with only the three frame window because up until about jump 15, uh, you have a larger frame to hit the button, but once you get past like jump 15, that's when it starts ramping up. So you have to hit a three frame window like 85 times, which is a lot. Um, yeah, I think that's all the items we can get here in Rosetown though, so let's just head into the inn, which is where we're supposed to be headed to. Mario, help! What? Uh, uh, hey Mario, I'll be taking care of Princess Toadstool now! Boing boing! Super jump attack! Haha! <laughs> oh! Bowser just owned the man! Gwaha! You think you can hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention, Toadstool! You're coming with me! Zip your lip! That sounds oddly... Never mind. Uh, help! Help! Somebody! Please help me! Help! I'm a oh, sorry. This is the kid now. Oh my gosh! It's Mama! It's Mama! <laughs> it's Mom! <laughs> Yes, dear, I hear you. Hello there, air. What? Well, aren't you Mario? I am indeed. For real? Well, you have the hat and that funky stash, and you're really Mario? I am. How do I know it's you? You might just be pulling my leg. Show me, prove it. We jump for the kid? Oh, right. Hey, Mario, wanna play with me? I'm playing Save the World. Now, Cass, Mario might be a little tired, dear. Oh, come on, Mom. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh dear, Mario, I hate to ask, but could you play with Gaz for a little bit? Yes! Mario just bought the farm! Excuse me? Mario just bought the farm? Does Mario own a own a farm? So, um, you could be Bowser. Or is that just a phrase that I don't know the meaning of, that I'm ignorant on? What does just bought the farm mean? I'll be Gino, okay. Oh, Gino. Ready, let's play from where I left off. All set. Yeah. Ooh, scary, but just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, cause Gino's gonna blow you away. Take this. <laughs> Your turn, Bowser. Oh, oh. Bang that child's head against the, the stairs. That seems mildly abusive, but you know, Mario's Mario's just not taking any prisoners. Ow! Oh no, if he keeps this up, I'm finished. Alright, you asked for it. The super duper custom patented one and only shooting star shot! Watcha! Oops, I uh, I, I think I missed. Oh dear, oh my, Mario, are you alright? Someone tells me, um, we got the stars knocked out of us. Ha ha ha. What is this? Speaking of stars... What is happening at this moment in time? The star is bouncing right over our heads. Ah, oh, the star likes Gino. The blue Pinocchio looking boy. Mwah. Spinning in circles! Spotlight! I'm a real boy now! <laughs> Look! Gino's a real boy! Hi, my name's Gino. Oh my god, what if I make that his voice? Oh god. We'll just have to wait and see. Look, look at little Pinocchio fella going, walking across the room. Oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's still a little clumsy. Gotta learn how to walk, sir. Hi. Alright. Bye. <laughs> cool. Timer goes off and it's wake up time. Alright. Nothing else to do here, I don't think. Let's, uh... Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw! It was amazing, Mom! I just saw Gino walk into the forest! Neat, huh? 
Yes, dear, that's nice, dear. And isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp the other day? Oh, Ma, that was just, well, you know, now this was real! I swear, Mom, really, it's true, I saw him outside! Alright, guys, let's hear it. What are you trying to get out of this time, huh? Mom, I didn't do anything! I really, truly saw Gino walking into the forest! Oh, this boy is impossible! So sorry if I hurt you, but what would Gino want in the forest? I don't know what Gino would want in the forest. Hmm... But we heard about the forest earlier, so maybe that's where we should be going next. Let's, uh... We left and come back in, and yeah, let's talk to these folks again. Sorry I knocked you down a while ago. Gino doesn't know his own strength. And, uh, there's one thing I wanted... I want to check. Because I'm not certain on if this happens now or if it's a later thing. Hi Mario, staying for a nap? Don't worry, it's on the house. I mean, you were so kind to guess. Okay, cool. I just want to check something. Because there might be an Easter egg. Oh no, it's not now, it's something later. But what is this toad doing at our bedside? Sir? Mario! I hate to bother you while you're resting, but I want to deliver this to you! We got Flower Dab! Oh! Well, good luck! I think that's the only point where you can get that flower tab. I think that's um, a rare one. Cool. Um, well, I'm not going to use it yet. We're just going to save it for when we need it. And yeah, uh, they don't have anything new to say. But we have a new objective. Objection! <laughs> Forest maze! This is one of the most iconic parts of Super Mario RPG. This is part of the game that everyone knows and remembers and is iconic. This song in particular, holy crap, people love this song. Oh gosh, there was the parody with the lyrics for this. Uh, it's, a, it's a good song though, I'm not even going to pretend like it's not. And we have Wigglers! Wigglers, um, I think they premiered in Super Mario Bros. 3, but they might be a Super Mario World thing. And, um, you can see if you jump on the Wigglers, like, eight or nine times, you can actually get a frog coin out of them. This is the reason why earlier I, uh, I said that you wouldn't need to worry too much about your frog coins if you miss a few, because there's gonna be infinite spawning places for frog coins, and this is one of them. This is the first one, in fact. And we have, um, <laughs> a gorilla that looks suspiciously like Donkey Kong. You thought my last LP was Donkey Kong, no. This one's Donkey Kong. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Okay, so I have gotten better at the super jumps. Twenty is like pretty consistently able to be accomplished at this point. But that's just an example. I've been practicing them off screen and um I can't always get them very good, but, you know, every now and then I'll get a good one, hopefully on screen. But yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy to me how there's like a Donkey Kong ripoff in this game. Rare, or this isn't even a rare game. Rare owns the rights to Donkey Kong is what I was trying to say. And, um, yeah, if I talk, it's going to be hard to do those. Ah, oh, that's the only hard part. But yeah, Rare owns the rights to Donkey Kong. And, um... You can attack twice? What the frick? Okay. So, the fact that Square used Donkey Kong, I mean, I guess Nintendo also... I, I don't know the actual history of Rare, but I think at this point Nintendo held, like, Rare's, like, copyrights. I don't know. Because Rare was, like, a subsidiary of Nintendo at this point. Before they were bought out by Microsoft. That's what I remember. Alright. Ooh, nice one, actually. And yeah, we also get infinite coins by doing this, but I mean, infinite coins were always accessible by fighting stuff. But this is a way to do it without doing it. And yeah, this is actually a really just a good way to get frog coins, honestly. Um, so I guess as we're doing this for a bit, I will show the training of slash frog coin grinding portion. We're gonna need a lot of frog coins for stuff later on to get optimal equipment. So, it's good to just get it now while we have the opportunity to. Fwacha! But yeah, so, um, story time, I guess. 
So in between recording the last episode and this episode, I learned that my computer charger, my old one, just went completely kapooey and crapped out on me. And um, that was really frustrating because I was in the middle of a recording session actually. I was in the middle of recording the last episode and my computer charger was like, Bleh, we don't want to work no more. So I had to hurry up finishing recording that last episode um, mid my computer dying, not knowing if my charger was going to work. And spoiler alert, my charger wasn't working. So uh, yeah, that last episode recording was stressful. And um, to top it all off, you want to know what day my uh, computer charger decided to crap out? It was Friday, May 13th. Yes, my computer charger decided to just peace out on Friday the 13th. 13, 14. Yeah, okay, I need to remember to just shut up while I'm doing those or else they're not going to be very good. General rule of thumb. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my story, <laughs> essentially. Uh, my- Ooh, Sandstorm, that's going to do damage. Blech. And that makes us quiver, fear. Not terrible, but fear just halves our damage. I don't know if it's all damage or just magic damage, but yeah. Um, so yeah, essentially, um, my computer decided to crap out, the charger at least decided to crap out on Friday, May 13th, Friday the 13th. And that was like a really inopportune time for it to crap out because I really wanted to record more episodes of this because I was getting really into recording this project. It's been really, really fun so far just like recording episodes of this game. So to have my computer charger just like poop out on me and um, to have that like go completely awry, it was frustrating to say the least. Um, so immediately I had to order a new charger. I ordered one on Amazon, even though my last computer charger from Amazon was shit. Um, it's fine though. Oh, I should have, yeah, I should block later. All right, shut up time. Oh my gosh, only 17 I think that time. Not very good. Uh, yeah. So in between that time, I was computerless and I just uh, spent time practicing super jumps and doing that because I was really having fun with the game and I didn't want to put it down. Even though I didn't really have a whole lot to do. Uh, I was like, sure, I'll try playing the game. Yeah, honestly, I... um. There's a lot about this game that I, I knew about, and there's a lot about this game that I don't know about still. Like, there's so many secrets in Super Mario RPG. And, um, this froggy coin thing, the infinite frog coins, I didn't even know this was a thing you could do until, like, recently. And I'm not actually, this is my first time actually taking advantage of it. Jumping on the Wigglers can actually be, like, a little bit, like, tricky at first, but, um... Oh my god, what is the timing for that? I don't even know. Yeah, jumping on the Wigglers can be a little bit tough at first to get the timing down and the positioning, but after you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Okay. And I'm gonna try it one more time, and after we get one more frog coin from doing this, then I'll move on. Two, three, four. Ah, oh, messed it up. Okay, let's try that again. I noticed that a lot of the, the secrets in this game are derivative from jumping on things. <laughs> that tends to get you a lot of places in this game. Oh my god. But yeah, the, the forest maze. This song um, is iconic piece of Super Mario RPG. Just lore. Like, people love this song. And there's like the parody, Super Mario RPG is the only game for me, yeah. I, w I was thinking about using that parody for the for the Let's Play trailer, and um, you know, by the time you guys are seeing this, obviously the Let's Play trailer has released. 
but I might <laughs> I might sing the parody of this song for the Let's Play trailer. We'll see. Or I might make my own lyrics and parody it that way. But that was the idea I had. And obviously, um, if you're seeing this video, then that trailer is already out, so you'll see if I actually went through with that idea or if I did something a little more simple. Um, yeah, we'll see. Let's try this jump again. Wow, only 13. That is probably one of the worst um, super jumps I've had in a while. <laughs> also, Mario's dead, by the way. I <laughs> just thought you should know that. Let's try Thunderbolt, I guess. I got carried away with... Um... Wow, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to a Wiggler. This is pathetic. I mean, this thing's almost dead, but... Yeah, okay, um... <laughs> sure! <laughs> we'll try to double my experience points, why not? Hey! Hell yeah! 12 experience for that. I- I'm gonna- I'm gonna cut my losses. We're not- we're not gonna play around with that no more. We're actually gonna go back to Rosetown, and we're gonna heal up. And, um, even though today's episode was a little bit shorter, I kind of want to save most of the Forest Maze for next time. Next episode is probably going to be a little bit longer because we're going to go through the entire dungeon. Um, at least that's the goal. But the maze takes up quite a bit of time, so cutting it halfway is kind of, like, silly in my opinion. So, yeah, I think, um, even though this episode was a little bit shorter, um, I think we're going to cut it here. So... Next time on Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, we're going to be heading through the forest maze with new energy in our hands. And uh, yeah, it should be an exciting episode. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing as it would really help out the channel. And with all that said, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.